Hi everyone, welcome back. So I thought I'd film my shoe collection video for you today and these are just the shoes that I have new in for February and I thought I'd do this every month so you can see what shoes I'll be rocking for the month. Um, I have a bit of a turnover of shoes because I'm in the words of Carrie Bradshaw. Hello lover. February was a bit hot on the old shoe collection so I went a bit crazy. This isn't going to be every month but these are my new in this month. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So these are all brand new, so you won't have seen any of them before. These are like my February new in edition. So yeah, let's see what I have got. So I did a bit of a Zafor haul. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, I did a bit of a shoe haul on there. So the first ones I picked up, and believe it or not, you've probably seen these on my Instagram. They are not Valentino. People were like writing in the comments saying, oh my God, Valentino. And I was like, it's not. So this is just mine and your secret, okay? These are from Sephora and they are so cheap and they are nowhere near the same price as Valentino's. I know designer shoes, designer handbags, inside out and back to front. <laughs> I haven't got any because I can't afford it yet, but um, I know them and I just, I can't tell the difference. Like, they're such good dupes. Let me try them on and show you what they look like on. So quick disclaimer, my feet are not the prettiest. I used to be a ballerina, so they're a bit battered. So ignore my ugly feet and look at the pretty shoes. So these are the Valentino dupes on. As you can see, they're like a black painted leather and then the straps are cream and a softer leather with the gold studs. Now these studs are so similar to the Valentino ones, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I just think they're gorgeous. I love them so much, I actually got them for my sister. She's a completely different size to me, so that's why they look a bit bigger. These are like a nude color and I actually think I prefer these, but they were sold out in my size, so I got them for her instead. And they're just exactly the same as the black and I just, I love them. I am, once they come, if they come back in stock I'm definitely gonna get them in a nude again you cannot tell the difference between these and like Vira Valentino's so these are three sizes too big so ignore that but these are the cream ones or the nude ones I absolutely love these they go with so many things and are so versatile and just a gorgeous shoe so because I like the Valentino vibe so much I just I cannot tell the difference I picked them up in these ones and you probably can't tell the difference straight off but they're blue on the on the straps and they're actually tiny heels oh and they have a red sole which I really really like but I quite like small heels. I didn't think I'd ever say that. Like in my early 20s, I was all about the six inches. Believe me, like you would not see, I would even go to uni in like six inch heels, no joke. I was obsessed. But I turned like, I turned 29 in three weeks times and I love a kitten heel. I have to admit and I just think it looks sophisticated it's weird as you get older your whole perception of what's sexy really changes instead of just putting it out there and wearing short skirts and big heels I kind of like go down the sophisticated route I guess it's because you're gonna try I'm trying to be wifey material I don't know <laughs> I just I think these are really really sexy and I just would never have thought, picked them up in my early 20s but I just, I think you can withstand them for like a long day on your feet as well a bit better. I just, I really, really like these. And actually I saw another blogger with them on and I just, I fell in love with them. So these are the dupes. They're obviously a lot cheaper. <laughs> so as you can see, they're very clearly blue and the three straps and the shorter heel just make it a little bit different. You can wear them a lot more often because they're so much more comfier than the higher ones. And I just loved it for like a practical dressy shoe. So the last thing I picked up from Zephore was these Chelsea boots. Now, I didn't have a pair of Chelsea boots and I was looking for the perfect pair. And I found these with studs on and I told you I have a stud fetish. So when I saw these with them on the toe cap and the front, I just fell in love. How beautiful will these look with like black skinny jeans and like a woolly, woolly cream jumper. I just really thought they were beautiful and really comfy at the same time. So again, studs, 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 and more studs. I'm a little bit addicted, but these are just a normal Chelsea boot with the studs on the toe cap and down the back. I just thought these were something really different for a Chelsea boot, and um, it fed my stud addiction, so <laughs> I had to get them. Okay, next, it is Public Desire. We all love Public Desire. They have such fab shoes on there. And this is, I have to just say, and I think kitten heels are sexy. <laughs> these are so huge, but I just, I love them, they're very like Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner vibes and sometimes you just gotta go there. <laughs> so I thought these would look really cute with like re really baggy jeans, M like boyfriend jeans or a pair of like them sporty tracksuit type bottoms that are all in at the moment just to add a bit of the edge to like a casual look um, with like maybe a white loose t-shirt. 
I can see it. <laughs> I'll take a picture when I wear it and show you. I just love the racer vibes. The stripes are very in at the moment and the colour as well, khaki. I love them. So as you can see up close, they're like a khaki suede and I love the race of stripe down the side. The white really sets off the khaki for that sporty luxe kind of style that's so in at the moment. And then you have the white heel to match at the back. So the next pair from Public Desire I think are that staple pair that every girl just needs in their closet and it's a black pair of stilettos. I actually had a black pair of stilettos and I lost them. How do you lose a pair of shoes? But I did, I lost them and I just replaced them with these. They're actually suede, I don't know if you can see on camera but I just love the low cut of them. I just love the shape of them. I love how this bit is missing in the middle because that actually makes your feet look so much sexier than a full like shoe. I don't know why, but it just does. I think it's because you can see the arch, and believe it or not, the arch of a foot is apparently meant to be really sexy. <laughs> so the more of that on show, the better, apparently. I don't know who tells me these things. So these are going to be worn to death and probably will be in my closet for years and years to come. So just a really simple black stiletto, but as you can see, the gap in the side makes your arch look so sexy. And they're suede, so you can probably see on the close-up here, it's just a little bit different to a normal shoe. So these you've probably seen, they were on my Instagram, but I saw them and fell in love straight away. They're such, like, they are such Gucci vibes. I just... I'm obsessed with slip-on loafers. I just, I love wearing them around the house. I love wearing them anywhere, like casual. I just think they're so easy. And especially in the spring months when it gets a bit warmer, these are gonna be so easy to slip on. There's like such a rich vibe about it that I really like. So this pattern was just screaming Dolce & Gabbana to me, so I had to pick them up. I don't know if you've tried slip-on loafers, but I'm size three and a half. So sometimes I wear three, sometimes I wear fours. But with actual slip-on loafers, it's horrible seeing people's heels like off the back of it. So make sure you, like these are a five. So it's always good to go like a few sizes up just so you know that your heel is not gonna slip off the back because it's really difficult to walk in if they're too small. This pattern is just simply to die for. So Dolce and Cabana, I love the gold accents as well. It's something a bit different for a slip on loafer. And you can see here exactly what I mean by getting a few sizes up just so your heel doesn't slip off the back. So the next pair of shoes are from Ego and I actually got them to go with this outfit I have on Right now I don't know if you can see I have like a pink tweed skirt on and they're just the same color red and I just absolutely love this color for like the Valentine's Day time of year they actually match my roses but um they're just so cute I thought it was very clueless share from clueless vibes yeah and I just thought they'd look really really cute with like a little skirt so you can see up close the satin material and the frays. Frays are so in at the moment, so I thought these were such a quirky little shoe and matched my skirt perfectly, so I cannot wait to wear them. Okay guys, we have some more studs. I definitely went on like a Valentino dupe rage <laughs> this month. I don't know what it was. I think it was like the springtime. Like I think the, the studs are all very in. Like spring is so pretty and like dainty, but again, not Valentino. These are from Wrong Way really find it difficult to say that and they're like blue and like lilac such an in color for this time of year I just think they're beautiful so these are like a flat version of the heels that I have and I just thought they were absolutely stunning um especially to go with like a white pair of jeans or something like that I kind of thought they were like a dressy shoe so if I wanted to go dressy but flat these are perfect type of shoe for that as well they're really really comfortable I didn't actually think they would be but they are so yeah let me try these on for you so up close you can see the gray and the, the mushroom color I want to call it really up close is just a beautiful combination with the gold accents I think these are stunning and I cannot wait to wear them everywhere I think they're gonna be my it shoe for spring okay there's another Chelsea boot I shop with themes and I don't even realize I do it but these are absolutely stunning they're from wrong way you've probably seen them on my Instagram but I just they're the same kind of style like the Chelsea boot but they just have these delicate studs which I thought the other ones are kind of like rocky and these are kind of like very classic. So I just, I cannot wait to wear these out. They're so, so cute. So these are very similar to the last Chelsea boots, but I just think the pattern and the smaller studs just make it that little bit more classier. And as you can see, I've worn them to death already and they are so comfortable and I haven't had any blisters or problems whatsoever. So these next ones are from Just Fab. I don't know if you've heard about Just Fab. It's like an online um, subscription service for shoes. And obviously, because I'm addicted, I obviously am a subscriber. <laughs> so I picked these up and I just love the color for this time of year. It's so like Valentine's Day vibes. And they have these cute little like ribbons around. I actually picked them up to work with. <laughs> don't think I'm crazy. Like big, thick, cream woolly socks if that makes sense and like a dress i'm actually going to paris in a couple weeks time and i thought that would look really cute walking down the streets in paris 
with like little pink booties on. So these are them on. As you can see, they are so cute. I just love how pink and girly they are. I always say I'm not a girly girl, but I think I am deep down inside because these just scream Valentine's Day cuteness to me. So I promise this is my last Valentino dupe. <laughs> but I had to pick these up. I'd seen these in so many people, like the real ones, and I'm just not in a situation where I can buy the real ones right now. One day, not yet. But until then, I just, I loved these. They've got like the patterns on them. I think the real ones are peachy, more peachy, but these are like slightly more green. But I just, I thought they were just something different for like a plain outfit to jazz it up. And nobody needs to know that they're not Valentino. It's mine and your secret, okay? Okay? Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend that they're Valentinos. So these are very similar to the other Valentino jutes, but obviously they have a very vibrant pattern on. This pattern is also a Valentino. Again, I can't really tell the difference. So if you're looking for a really good dupe, it's definitely worth checking out Runway and Sephora. These ones are from a brand called Koi, and I was looking for a pair of these for so long, and I just didn't find a pair that I liked. I think it was to do with the length of them, but I just adored this. I loved the two buckles. I loved how high they were, and I just wanted like a good chunky boot for walking around London or day or going on my travels I just I wanted a really good warm solid boot so these were them so I love where these sit on my calf I think it's such a nice height and I think the two buckles set it off really really nicely so they're just black with gold accents and the comfiest shoes ever so the last ones are my favorite and I am such a sucker for a thigh high boot just because they keep me so warm like heels like flats high low just I love a thigh high boot so my boots were all like black, so I wanted to get a grey pair, especially considering that we were going into like the, the well, supposedly warmer months. But um, I just thought grey this spring is such an in colour and I just thought it would look really nice with like a white chunky um, woolly jumper, which I have. It's this green coat and this chunky jumper dress. This is from Misguided and this is from lavish Alice and I just thought this would look really cute together um just with a bobble hat really nice to master that transitional season colour thing going on you go from like dark colours into like light and pastel colours I think in spring which I love because I love pastel colours so these just fall over the knee and they're grey suede. Um, I wouldn't recommend wearing them in the rain, but um, hopefully we'll get a bit of sunshine soon. And they're just really simple to pair. I actually paired these with a white woolly jumper the other day and they look so cute. So that is my February edition shoe collection and I hope you liked it and weren't too bombarded with my Valentino dupe obsession. <laughs> um, I will buy the real ones one day and as soon as I do, I'll do, I'll share them with you. <laughs> <laughs> but until then I'll just give you dupes. They're gorgeous dupes and no one will know so why not? So as always please come follow me on social media. I'm at the Laura Blair on Instagram. Come give me a follow and if you want to keep up on my blog posts and stuff it's probably best to follow me on Twitter. Again I'm at the Laura Blair so come say hey and I will see you hopefully in a few days or next week. I don't know for some more videos. <laughs>